Hello everybody, I'm Allie and welcome to today's riding lesson. And today we are going to be transitioning into doing your first trot. Now, if it's been a while since you've trotted or you're just trying to get back in the groove or if you're an older individual starting lessons as an adult, working into that first trot is one of those things that if you do it nice and easy, it's real easy to do. All right, we have Steve and Sedona, and Steve is working on the trot. Now, with a horse with a really big trot, you're gonna feel a lot of motion. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna stabilize the body by being able to hold on to the saddle horn for a little bit so he can help push his weight down into the saddle. And then when we feel comfortable, he's gonna be able to let go with the saddle horn. So he's going to initiate the trot. Ready? And there we go. So as soon as we've gotten off into the trot, he can relax and follow the horse better with his hips. So just initially, if you have a horse that launches, give him a little bit. There you go. Good. Good job. And having your hands out just kind of helps you balance and find that center so you can sit the trot more effectively. There you go. Good job, Steve. All right, now we're gonna slow down. So I'm gonna ask him to put his hands back down. There you go, straight into the walk. Now I'm gonna ask him to stop off of his seat. Ready, and woo. And good job, no walking forward. Now we did it on one side, we have to do it on the other. Now to start, you can hold on to the saddle horn, or if you've got a night latch, you can hold on to that, or you can hold on to mane just to get you started and go through that launch period. And once you get comfortable, you can just let go. We do on one side, we do on the other. This time he's gonna just go ahead and have a hold of the reins or hold of the saddle horn if he needs it. There we go. So if you need to, you can go into a two point, but the whole idea is to be able to relax into that trot and relax those hips and find your balance place because it's gonna be really kind of bouncy in the very beginning, especially, there you go, good job. Good job. Now, when you have your arms out and you're nice and balanced, you totally have to concentrate on your seat. So we call it the fly position. It really is very cool because you can totally get to going on your seat and you can find that perfect sweet spot. All right, now we're going to trot on the rail. There we go. Just relax. Relax your hands, a little lower with the hands. There you go. And you're gonna try not to bounce. That's the harder thing, and to keep out of the corner. So just go ahead and bring your head around. There you go. Let's get her out of the corner. When you're working on the trot, there's so many things that are going on through your head, and you start worrying about it. It's mainly being able to hold your seat. Now, ultimately, you want that shoulder, hip, and heel to be in a line. But when you initially get started and you're starting to brace, you're gonna brace your hip a little bit more in, and if you'll notice, he's still bracing his hip just a little bit more, and that'll get better over time. There we go, relaxing into the trot. Now, remember to tip his head, her head away from Miro, because she wants to go over there. <laughs> and let's get into the trot. Just relax your hips into it. Try to keep your hands, push your hands down. If you need to hold yourself and kind of get adjusted in the stirrup, do so. There you go. Just try to look forward where you're going to go. Okay, it's important to end in a good note, and we know that there's going to be sticky spots in different parts of the arena, especially over by another horse or over by a corner. So make sure you get through that sticky spot without the horse stopping. There we go. So we've gotten past that point. Don't let her turn in, don't let her turn in. Come on, keep her going forward. Now release that hand, there you go. All right, now squeeze and ask for the trot. There you go, much better. Relax the hips, very good. Trot, keep her trotting.
There you go. Relax your hips. Now, use your leg. Don't let her stop. Don't let her stop. Don't let her stop. Come on. Come on. Keep her going through it. Don't let her look at that corner. Good. And trot off out of it. Good. Now, oops, that was a little rough, but you made it. You're going to go over. Now we want to go ahead and bring her on into the center. There you go. Stop. Get a full stop. Now let's ask for three backup steps. Back There's one. Back now release every step. There you go. And one more step. Good girl. Good girl. Good job. <laughs> I know it's a lot of work, but it's really worth it and you get better at it every time. Thank you so much for joining us on today's video. And if you enjoyed the video, give us a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And remember to see more, check out our playlists.